Okay, I'm shooting this video for a friend of mine that's got a automatic choke issue. Uh, this is a 34 PEC 3 carb right here. And uh, okay, so I'm going to go through the electric choke setup. Now, this one was set up right here. Now, the index mark we focus here is in the white. And then you got a couple other index marks here that's part of the carburetor and so what I'm going to do here is first of all I'm going to take off the throttle and that will allow okay well the throttle's not hitting on there anyway so I can do this one-handed so over here after loosening these three screws around this base that will allow the automatic choke and the rheostat in there to spin and you'll see this white index marker spinning as it spins down up oh, yeah it did catch that so see if I hold that off as it spins down let's see if I can just hold this I'm trying to do this one-handed okay there we go so now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to spin this back the other way and that's going to open this choke up as you spin this back. So ideally I like to have mine opened about a quarter of an inch. So we're going to spin this back to where that index mark was. This this thing's been laying around for a while. So that's roughly where the index mark was right there with the throttle off. Looking down into the bowl you got just a little opening there. That'll give you your cold start choke. And as you start warming up, or if the engine's warm already, it will hold this open for running position. So there you go. Right there, uh, play around with that a little bit, and you should have it. Alrighty.